Hello. Today we have this 59 plate Range Rover Sport. It's the five liter supercharged HSE. Taken in part exchange against a, a new shape Land Rover Discovery. Uh, we have had the, the car inspected by the AA. That is 128 point inspection, which includes a five mile road test to make sure the car is correct on the road. The AA have signed uh, this Range Rover off. I have drove the car myself about 10 miles. It really does drive well. There's no, no problems, goes for all the gears, everything else, uh, but don't take my word for it. Uh, the AA have signed the car off as well. We do have the AA inspection report. The AA inspector who actually inspected the vehicle did mention a few common faults with these Range Rovers. And he said the previous owner must have spent an absolute fortune on it um, because most of those have been replaced. And it's got full service history, got all the documents with the car, which I will run through uh, with you shortly. So starting with the front of the car, all looks good, nice and clean. Of course, there are some very minor stone chips to the, the edge of the bonnet, which are to be expected, but you, you have to get pretty close to even notice them. All the badging looks good though. I've seen on plenty of the Range Rovers in the past, badges can get quite heavily discovered, discolored, sorry. Same with the grill, looks good again. But yeah, front of the car looks really clean. No scuffs to that bumper corner. Or that one. I'll just polish out that mark, yeah. Bumper corner's good. It is raining outside today, so that is just a little bit of rainwater on the front of the bumper. It does have cameras in the front bumper. As I take a step back, looks really straight on the driver's side. Can't see any signs of any repairs or anything like that. All the alloy wheels look good as well. A few little marks to the outer edge of the alloys, but nothing more than that. Does have a full set of Pirelli Scorpion tires. Always a sign of a very well-maintained vehicle. All tires, a minimum of three millimeter or more, as confirmed by the AA. I will list the tire depths on the, the advert once I've uh, checked out the AA report. Nothing to point out on the driver's front wing. That is just a little bit of dried rainwater there. But yeah, can't really, uh, can't see anything to, to mention. Same with the driver's door. Looks really straight. Can't see any scratches. A couple of little chips there on the door. Just need a little bit of paint rubbing into them and I'm sure they'll disappear. Rear door, exactly the same. Just a couple of little chips lower down need touching in, but other than that, looks really, really straight. Nothing to mention on that rear panel either. Alloy wheel, that one looks really good. Can't see any curbing, just a little bit of a touch in there as well. Taking you inside the car, interior really is fantastic. Just get a close up of the edge and wing of the driver's seat to show you that. If someone had told you that seat had done sort of 50,000 miles, you'd believe them really, really nice. All the electric seats and everything else do work. Check by the AA as well. Had the heavy duty rubber over mats fitted, so all carpets and footwells good. Get a close up of the driver's footwell to show you that. We do have the, the rubber over mats still with the car. I've just put them in the boot just so you can uh, see all the carpets. Right, as I said, the AA said absolute fortune has been uh, spent on the uh, the car. Whoever's had it has uh, really, really looked after it, as you'd expect. Um, so just running through some of the invoices, as far as I'm aware, there's a full service history. Just go through some of it. So 29th for the third, 21. Replace both rear brake caliper, brake pads, offside rear brake pad lead, brake caliper, uh, brake fluid change as well, £496. Uh, pounds. 19th for the second, 20. Uh, supply and fit, new timing chains um, and tensioner, injector done as well at a total cost of 1,680 on that one. Um, carried out service there on the 8th for the 7th, 20. Landy man, um, Land Rover specialist, carried out service and rear prop shaft uh, replaced, a total £912. Um, service there, 26th of the 3rd, 18, again, £234, so the independence from 18, and then uh, we go to Land Rover as well, um, so that was 24 for the 8th, 16, it's full service by the looks of things, got it 
a cost of uh, 2,370. Um, so have a look at that there, uh, 547 pounds total. So yeah, over 2,000 spent on it there. 14 for the temp, uh, 14. That's an absolutely phenomenal record. 1,446 spent on it there. Land Rover. Um, what's this? 13. Land Rover again. 894 pounds. Uh, 1,199 there. Is that 2012? And again, where's that one? 2011. Land Rover. Absolute phenomenal record. Uh, 2010, 468 pound. I assume that's its first service. So as far as I'm concerned, full service history. Uh, phenomenal record. Um, got all the past MOTs as well. MOT to the 11th, the 11th, 22. Um, no advisories on the last couple of ones. There's no advisories as well. So yeah, just under 12 months. MOT, no advisory, signed off by the AA as well. Everything does work on the uh, the car, um, all the, the sat nav and everything else. There's no warning lights, drives, fantastic. Uh, just show you that there's no warning lights. That orange triangle um, just flashed up, smart key, battery low. So just need the battery uh, putting in the key. That is all that triangle is, I can assure you of that. All the controls seems to work. Radio, heated seats, and um, starts fine. As I said, signed off by the AA. So just coming round to the rear of the car. Again, uh, bumper corner looks good. Very minor touch in there, but absolutely nothing i'm being a bit fussy uh rear of the bumper looks good again just has been raining so just a few uh rain marks on it just needs drying off properly taking you into the the boot all good they are the over mats uh boot carpet underneath good parcel shelf is here really clean in the air in the back all the plastics nice as well Round to the passenger side, as I look down the side again, really, really straight. Can't see any problems from here. Bumper corner again, looks good. Nothing to mention on this rear panel. Very little minor parking dent there. Hasn't broke the paint, so just, I don't even know whether you'd bother with a dent man. That wheel really good. Door again. Can't really see any problems. Of course, a couple of little stone chips to the door edge, but just need a bit of paint rubbing into them. Rear seats, all good. No problems with the roof lining. Onto the passenger front door. Again, other than those little minor, they'll let those little marks there should polish out. Carpet's good. Seat again, as you'd expect. It really is a fantastic example. And um, just looking at the service history, tyres, etc., uh, you realise that. As I said, if you're looking for one, uh, you'll struggle to find a better, uh, better example. As I said, signed off uh, by the AA. Uh, drives no problems at all really really clean and tidy other than a few touch-ins um it, it it really is ready to retail can't uh, can't see much uh, can't see much more a few touch-ins a ballot and it'll be uh, it'll be straight on someone's forecourt i'm sure if you have any questions on the car and um, just get in touch my uh, name's rob contact number 07 375 484 683. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch.